Bristlecone pines are currently thought to be the oldest living non-clonal organism on Earth. Flagged by intense wind and enduring the heat of the summer, the drought of the summer, and incredible snows and blowing winds in the wintertime. Most of these ancient trees consist of only a single strip of bark, which is living tissue. It still supports enough leaf material and enough stem material to actually still produce cones after so many millennia. These are trees that were around when the pyramids were built and that were already 2,000 years old when Caesar ruled Rome. So how do we know how old these trees are? Well, Methuselah, the oldest of these trees, found in the Shulman Grove and thought to be the oldest non-clonal living organism on the entire face of the planet, was actually determined to be over 4,600 years old by counting growth rings. Well, bristlecone pines, like most of our trees, produce rings of growth every year. These rings of growth are actually xylem tissue that's laid down every year the tree is actively growing. So if we take and we core through the tree, and then we come back and we look at that little core, we can actually count the rings to determine how old the tree is. Methuselah, 4,600 years old, 4,600 rings. I mean, these trees, these old gnarled trees, put on maybe an inch of girth every century. Well, these growth rings can tell us about the past and perhaps where we're headed in the future. The width of a growth ring tells us whether it was a good year, warm with adequate moisture, or a cold and dry season. The wider the ring, the better the conditions. This allows us to look at the general trends of climate in the region. You're sort of awestruck walking through a forest with things that you know are 4,000 years old. I mean, they've seen a lot. They're so valuable. Yet, they're not the only valuable thing here in this forest. These old standing dead trees and the downed wood are really just as valuable. Because of the climate here, this weird climate where we only get 10 to 12 inches of rain a year, and that really falls all as snow in the wintertime, we don't have a lot of moisture available during the time of year when decomposition takes place. So some of these standing dead trees, because of the dense wood and the slow decomposition rate, have been standing this way for 1,000, 2,000, some even 5,000 years. Well, what this has allowed us to do is to push back the chronology and look at climate change in the past 9,000 years here in the White Mountains. The rings tell us that in the White Mountains, the climate for the past 8,000 years or so has been getting progressively cooler. And then, all of a sudden, in the 20th century, things begin to change. The rings show the warming trend that has been observed the world over. We also know that climate has been cooling and drying from the distribution of pines. Tree line has moved down approximately 100 feet in elevation in the last 1,000 years. They also have moved up from their lower limits about 100 feet during the same time, telling us it's been getting gradually drier. These trees are being squeezed into an ever smaller range. The oldest trees are at the lowest elevations on poor, dry, south-facing slopes. With the rapidly warming and drying climate in this region, the oldest living things on Earth are standing on the front lines of the climate change battle. Trees that have stood for 40 centuries may not see the end of the 21st.